And yes, Titan Medical Center is able to get you guys all the peptides still right now with everything going on from a pharmacy, not research chemical sites or anything like that. So if you guys are getting your peptides from these places, I don't know how many bad experiences that people have told me when they get their peptides from these research and chemical sites. It didn't work. I have no idea. I must have injected just water. You know, hopefully there's no infections that happen, but I have talked to people that have got some things like BPC-157 from a research chemical site, injected it, and actually caused them infection. So then they had to go to the hospital. They had to pay the hospital bill. They got a little meat cut out of them. It wasn't cool. They had to go on IV antibiotics. It's just not fun. So you guys got to, one, make sure you get it from a reputable source. Two, whether you are doing an injectable from us or somewhere else, make sure you're doing cleansing of the site. That's right. A little bit of alcohol, making sure you're pushing away all the dirt and getting away from that so it is, um, it, it's clean. So when you inject you're not gonna have anything that you're pushing inside your body, right? Because that's what a needle does, it pushes it in. I mean, I remember old school guys that I've talked, well, I've actually seen a talk to, um, that used to inject right through their clothes. I couldn't believe it. Like, like, why would you do that? You don't have to. Like, if you were in a situation where you had to, I guess, and that's all there is, okay, I guess maybe. But at that point, if you don't have to, don't ever do anything like that, please. 